sharing my hard work with you guys is a good idea. What hard work? We just want a sneak peek into your assignment, Michelle. Hi, Belez. You said we are our brother's keeper. Hmm, not like this, Farah. You know, Mr. Fridge categorically insisted that we do our part. I don't want to have another exchange with him. Women, women, women. Eh? But come say for nothing. Farah, if this was you, you could have already helped us. Chub, 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 warrior. You know, I don't know. I think it is her choice to see us suffer. Baro, please, we will not do you like last time. You mean the last time that you all copied word to word? This time we are going to change the words. We blow miss. I am not willing to take that chance today. Let me focus on my success, please. Guys, 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 I think you should take mine. I paid someone really handsomely to get this done. Me to copy your assignment? Knowing very well you'll get two out of that. But teacher, maybe you didn't hear the part that I said. I paid someone to do it on my behalf. Oh, then in that case, please help me. Eh? Better to have the wrong answers than nothing completely. Sing your father. Hey, well, I, I don't know. You know, it is different when you know you are copying the wrong answer, especially from that doctor. How do you know the wrong answers if you don't know the right ones? Fair point, Agatha. Just pass that piece of paper. Ah, this is not even your handwriting. You mean the guy even wrote the assignment for you? Huh? huh? This is... Now, yeah, how dumb can you be? Maalim will obviously going to notice this. He will not. The poor guy can't even differentiate his nose from his mouth. That is not even to do. Look, guys, I'm just doing you a favor. You either take it or leave it. As for me, let me enjoy my peace. Okur. Agur. What are you sure? Let us just copy. We don't have any other option. Agi, are you not afraid of being caught? What if Mr. Fridge is not as lenient as Mr. Mwango was? I caught or not, I really don't care. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Suspension. So be it. You know, I've missed so many, many vacays with my girls. At this point, my girl squad is calling me a brat. Imagine, me, a brat. Haha, -ha, I need an out. Never mind. Do you, girl? Ah, Valen, move your hand. Wait, what is this? Name the essential qualities of a valid contract. Look at those answers, guys. It looks like you have other plans. Eh? Now, while you would like to share your thoughts about this assignment, please refrain. Even I know the answer to that one. Offer, acceptance, consideration, intention to create legal relation, legality, capacity, and sustainability. What is wrong with the explicit contract, a blind contract, and quasi contract? Those are sub qualifications of contracts. Express contract is a contract which is expressed in words or written. When such a contract is formal, there is no difficulty in understanding the rights of parties and obligation of parties. But you sound like you know what you are talking about. Of course I do. A quasi contract. These apply to certain dealings which are not contract strictly. This means that you can work without them. Wow. So you're willing to cheat on an assignment that you clearly know more about? I said I have more issues to worry about myself. I want your help not because I am stupid, but because I am this. That's the best today. What you are doing also, we are very busy. Mr. Fleet is not coming in today. Please tell me that this is not one of your jokes. Hi, when you haven't heard. Hat what? Is he okay? Not according to the grapevine going around. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you guys. Apparently, somebody saw he start beating black and blue. Mm. But teacher is a grown-up person with kids. Why would his father discipline him? We are here to find that out. Mm, uh, uh, maybe his wife has something to do with it. Uh, uh, so, uh, does it mean we do not have to do the assignment? No assignment for who? Mm. Let me tell you. It will be his fault if he doesn't come for the assignment by the end of today. Yes. <laughs> 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 Do that? Ah, uh, you did not hear my uh, Ma'alim is not coming. Hey, hey, hey. 
You better pray that is not a hoax because you will not like me. Ah, it is not a hoax. Uh -huh. Hello, girls and boys. Excuse me, Mr. Jondo. This is not a place for the homeless. Oh my gosh, what sort of a cave have you creeped from? Excuse me, sir. Might you be a parent looking for the lost daughter or son? No offense, but you should think, you should think really bad. Farah, that is not how to speak to elders. Finally, somebody is talking something respectful. Now, is this the kind of uh, reception that you give all your teachers? Of course we respect our teachers. We don't know who you are or what you want. You have not been forthcoming either. Now, if you keep on talking over each other like that, how am I going to, 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 to tell you anything? Eh? Can you settle down first? Will you introduce yourself first properly before we know what is what? <laughs> Can I mm -hmm. These guys sound just like you. Hi. Are you two? Hi, that is impossible. Hey, shut up, young girl. Eh? I don't like people who are interrupting me like that. Eh? Where are your manners? Yes, now there is a silence that I can work with. You know, you, you guys, you know, I'm, I think I'm too old now to catch up with you energetic young girls and boys. Guys, I think he's a madman. Hey, apologies to interrupt you, sir. Eh? In any case you're looking for our teacher, I'm sorry to say he will not be in today. Before you think of asking us his whereabouts, we ourselves do not have a clue. I wasn't go going to. Really? Yes, dearly. Eh? I'm where I'm supposed to be. And so back up you, my children. You know, today you have earned yourself a jackpot. Today I'm going to be your substitute teacher. Uh, Maria, what did you just say? The name is Dr. Kamunya. Eh? Frank Kamunya. And yes, actually today I will be your teacher. And before you say anything, I think you, you have to adjust because I know... You don't you. look like neither of those titles. A teacher nor a doctor. Eh, you remind me of my grandfather Mbaka Tushangu. Is that so? Eh, he's Mukali just like you. He's a very stubborn old man. Mukali, no. But stubborn, maybe, yes. You know, success is not something which comes easy. You know? You have to keep on pressing and pressing and pressing. My the numerous years that I have have taught me something, one or two, about life. But you don't look too... Ah, uh, no, no, no. Let me tell you something. There is more to me than meets the eye, you know? And can you guys, first of all, stop concentrating on my appearance, you know? And uh, what do you say? We get to know each one another better. And then before we, we start our class. I don't think we are going to have a class today. Not with you or anyone else. Hey, young man, you know you look like a little kid throwing tantrums. Eh? Why don't you talk to me like somebody who knows something in life? Mr. Kamunya. Dr. Kamunya. All right, Dr. Kamunya. Okay, you see, we don't mean to disrespect you. It's just that you've come at a bad time. Maybe if you come back when the circumstances have changed. But I know my son, uh, Mr. Odeli, was taking you through this course. Uh, we don't know your son in Dakitali. You mean you didn't even bother to ask his name? Eh? Mr. Odeli, your previous teacher. There's no one with that name here. We only have two teachers. And one of them was Mr. Mwango and now Mr. Fridge. Fridge? What sort of a name is that? Those were our original thoughts too. Looks like we were right. You have got the wrong class. Is this not the business class? Eh? Taught by Mr. Ondeli, right? Yes to the first question and Mark Fridge to the latter. Fridge? And you mean that is how he is calling himself these days? Okay, anyway. Mr. Ondeli or, or Fridge, whatever, is a way. And the head dean uh, asked me to step in. Out of everyone out there, eh? He came to you and picked you with that accent. No, actually he ran me. You know, I was running my usual errands and minding my own business and then bring the phone rang and I saw his name on, on the phone. Uh, what do you mean by minding your own business? I think you, have, you must have 
noticed that I am very much in farming by the way I dress, you know? Uh, forgive me for being so upfront, but what is a farmer doing in a business class? Have you ever seen a dog being used to do a donkey work? What a stupid person would do, would do that. Let me tell you one thing, to answer your question. I am more than qualified to teach this class, let me tell you. Eh? And actually, even why I'm here now today, I'm here because I'm doing you a favor. A favor? How so? Look here, young man. Hmm? You are right. I'm not a shining armor encrypted on, uh, in this class or any other class for, the, for that matter. By the way, I can comfortably walk out of this place and go and mind my own multi-million projects that are pending, by the way. Did you just say multi-million projects? Yes, and actually that is just a tip of an iceberg. Since retirement, I ventured into farming. And there before it was small, small scale, small scale, small scale here and there. But nowadays, it has grown so rapidly. In fact, I'm thinking of now going to export. You are quite established. But how do we know that you are telling the truth? Or maybe you are trying to use us so that you can get the paycheck. I will give you a yes and a no for that comment. One, no money is too little. Okay? And this paycheck will help me sort out my employees. And the other thing is, and yes, because I really don't need this job, you know? I was just coming here to do my old friend a favor. <laughs> Looks like you are in the favor granting business, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. You see, your dean and I go a long way. You know, he was there when I took Dawale to my Niroz, and all through my businesses, some of which we did not even work out. So why are you taking this job if you do not have our interest at heart? Or just came here to fulfill your business interest? Do you have an idea how long you've taken to graduate from this course? But you've been blocked by people like you. Maybe you guys, you should change the way you look at life in general. And if you cannot do that, then you should quit all together. Me, I'm here because I was told there is a class of young people. Huh? who are lost somewhere, and they need my expertise. Wow, at lost young ones. Yes, and I have proved it myself. You guys, your thinking is very shallow, and I think you should redraft your priorities. If I may ask, do you know what I was doing at your age? What were you doing? Uh, at 20, I was building a house for my father, back at home. You know, I did not have a degree, I did not even have a qualification or any certificate and I was just doing all the jobs here and there whereby I was getting some money, some I was saving for the future use. You built a house at 20 years? Ah, no, maybe he's referring to those matope and glass kind of structures. No, 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 no. Uh, bricks were the in thing those days. And you, do you know my father was very proud and he was moving from homestead to homestead, yeah? boasting of what his son is doing. Where are you headed with this story, sir? Please call me Frank. Yeah? Everybody calls me Frank. I don't think that is professional. Who said that? Yeah? Young, young, young girl. Let me tell you, that is the kind of mentality I want to drive out of your brain by the time I am done here. You know? Uh, how about if you can say you, you want to be anything you want, with or without education? <laughs> Easy for you to say that now that you're a PhD holder. Well, let me tell you. Huh? My degrees came much later. You know, why do you think I'm doing farming right now? Whereas I can be able to be employed and be given crazy amounts of money. Ah, now I'm liking the way you are thinking. Let me tell you. Yeah? You know, I look at you and I see you like my children. And uh, what I can tell you is this. Yeah? Time has passed whereby you, you, we used to go to school so that you can, go, you can get a job later. Why do I have a feeling you are misleading us, sir? Okay, in your opinion, why do you think we go to school? Let me start by telling you something no one told me at your age. You know, 
getting employed and getting a monthly salary is like a mind imprisonment which was brought to us by those people from Western. You know, me, I always ask, why can't you create your own heaven? I don't quite get you, sir. I have so many degrees, okay? And to some extent, I can tell you for sure, they are all worth worthless, you know? I was employed and I followed the different rules of different people for so long until I opened up my eyes, you know? Right now, I can tell you for sure, I have superseded all my employers. Uh, now, here there is something. Uh, yeah. You can pass it around. Uh, thank you, sir, but don't you think we should wash them first? And let me tell you, these are green mangoes, you know, plucked from trees, my trees day in the morning. Yeah? You can trust them. Yeah? Just, just go ahead, go ahead. Yeah? Tell me whether you have encountered such a sweetness in your lifetime. Come in. I know your mangoes are sweet, but not like this one. <laughs> Sir, where did you get these ones? I must buy some for my siblings. These were planted by me. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. You know, a friend of mine gave me a grafted tree from Sweden. And right now I have cultivated about 500 of them. You know? Although there is some other fruit, fruit species uh, as well. Hmm. These are really sweet, huh? And that is not even the sweetest part of the story. Yeah? Do you know how much I sell one of these? How much? Uh, I think at the wholesale price, this one goes for 75 shillings. At those, uh, you know, those uh, leafy suburbs, supermarkets. And uh, I think they sell them uh, twice as, as much. Uh, how many mangoes do you say you get by harvest? You see, that is the, 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 the best thing about my business. You know, most of my produce, apart from vegetables, they never go out of season, you know? And uh, like mangoes, I think I can say, I can get five bags per day. You must be making a lot of money. Doctor, please say your secrets. And uh, why do you think I am here? Eh? And please, please, you guys, eh, don't, don't throw the leftovers all over. You know, we don't want uh, littered classroom. Okay? Sure thing, Doctor. Now that you guys know about me, so I, don't, I think it's only fair that you should, I should also know you. Uh, good stuff. My name is Theophilus Atito, sir. I am more interested in your drive, you know. What is your side hustle, you know. I think there is more than just being a student in you. What do you mean? I can barely even pay my bills. Professor, even me, I have bigger problems, eh? I wish I had a side hustle like you. In fact, I wanted to, you to give me some soft loan after class, eh? You're asking for a room. We have just met. Yes, and that is the saddest part. There is no one else to assist me. That is the kind of mentality I ran away from. Eh? And I can tell you for sure, eh? if you have such a friend, please run. <laughs> run far away as long as, as your legs can carry you. Those kinds of friends are the ones who bring somebody down. Hey, why? It is a small loan. He's a refund. Do you want to bet your dollars on that? Yeah? By show of hands, how many do? A uh, young man, what is your name? Uh, uh, my name is Shisia Wilkombe. How many do Wilkombe here owe money? And how many have been promised to be paid tomorrow? And you expect to be paid? And yet he is still looking for, 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 for another loan from me. But I'll pay once I get money. And when will that be? I'm still working on it, sir. How about you working hard and smart? Eh? You guys, if I may ask, how many of you have a side hustle? Uh, Kinadvi, Joseph Kinadvi is my name. <laughs> I wouldn't uh, call my business a side hustle, but uh, the only hustle. <laughs> For instance, uh, I know you are a farmer. And I know that uh, one day you will need the fertilizer for your crops. Actually, actually, you, uh, it's like you, you, you can read my mind. Mm -hmm. I have some tomato seeds. 
that I need to, to plant before the ring begins. I could never be so happy to have had the pleasure of meeting you, sir. You are in the light place and I am your guy. How many bags can you deliver tomorrow? I, I, tom tomorrow, tomorrow is very soon. Maybe we should uh, discuss this logistics uh, privately. Come on. It's just manure. Who know who cares how well planned you are? I don't think that is the reason he want to see in private. Fala, stay out of my business. What if an innocent investor who has done nothing but gain to me is going to be hurt on my watch? Will I just keep quiet? What do you mean get hurt? Uh, 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 ten bags, Mr. Professor. What? Uh, uh, I, I will deliver ten bags of manure by tomorrow 5 p.m. Hey, at ten bags, hey? Kinyanjui, hmm? I had no idea you were selling manure. Since when? I don't advertise my business unless it is warranted. And uh, how much are you selling per bag? You know, there was a guy who was supplying me, eh, but I had to dump him because of his crazy prices. <laughs> don't worry, Mr. Professor. Very simply, I will give you at uh, only 890 shillings each and every bag. The, the, the big bag? That, that, that's not bad. Ah, no, 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 that is the 5 kg. Uh, the big bag goes for only 3,700. Are you a little mad, you guy? Or oh, what? Eh? That is three times what my ex, that supplier was giving me, and I dumped him. Ah, Mr. Professor, slowly, slowly. These are very high end manure, okay? <laughs> Rafa, by the way, I heard you mentioned that you want to venture into an uh, export business, isn't you? That, that's right. Have you done any research on how much you are going to use on your export produce? Mark you, you have to meet a certain standard. True, but still... Still nothing. I have a guy who have been exporting apples abroad. I can ring the two of you up. By the way, I have been his official fertilizer supplier. <laughs> and his apples have never been rejected. I think we should have a bit a deeper conversation after the class. What I can answer you? Yes. What magic do you always have that is working for you? What did you do? <laughs> that is my secret. I think we should get the lesson started. Today we were supposed to tackle constitution. Hey, young man, what's wrong with you? We are discussing serious matters here and you are talking about the constitution. How will the constitution affect your life? It is not how the constitution is going to affect our personal life. This is part of our coursework. Haven't you been listening to me all this time? Eh? Let me tell you, young man. Eh? If you keep on thinking the way you are thinking, I'm telling you, you can, and I can promise you, you'll be a slave for, the, for the long, 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 long time. Dr. Frank, in case you haven't noticed, farming is not for all of us. So true, my history with pangas and jambes, huh, not so pleasant. Everything is for us to run and explore, you know? Let me tell you, Rome was not built in a day. Mimi, my father will never allow me to farm. But you are not farming for your father, you know. You are farming for your own betterment, you know. And I think you can do well in the chicken business. Where? You know they associate chicken with coward people. But that is exactly what you are. I can see you are very much afraid of chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those little monsters scare me so much. I really can't stand their feet. I knew. Eh? But anyway, wait until you, you meet the breed I'm keeping. You know, mine are very clean. Eh? I can actually imagine you, you know, picking those uh, freshly laid eggs from the trays with your long nails. Yeah, I knew you have a, a warm heart. Eh? You see that smile? My chicken will love it. What about me? Well, if I see you well, it's like where you can do well with uh, the sheep. Eh? You can do well with that sector. Where we ngobe in a toroka. And, uh, also, cattle requires a lot of work. Hi, that is too much work for me. Says the guy who is jobless. Okay, now, guys, eh? So, what do you say? We, I think I can take you for, for a tour in my farm, one of these fine days. Yes! Eh? Please don't tell me the lesson is over already. Guys, that marks the end of our lesson. But, uh, you guys, we haven't done any coursework. That is what I said. And your response, we have important things to discuss. You know, I, I got lost in these motivational speeches and whatnot. Huh? Okay, let's, let's do this. Why don't you give me 15 more minutes? Then we can learn something new. I don't want to be caught in traffic, so I have to leave right away, sir. Me too. I have errands to run, teacher. I'm afraid the same is my case. Okay, now, guys, <laughs> and, uh, let, let me say this. 
why why do we, don't I give you some mangoes so that we can call it this even? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That looks small. It's okay. <laughs> Even with what? <laughs> I think you guys, you say, you have to say that I taught you a lesson, you know? Because I think I have impacted on your life. Adil, we don't get much done anyway. Yes, that is true. <laughs> For what's what? I really enjoyed your lesson, sir. <laughs> uh, Mr. Professor, uh, maybe we should finalize our deed before I go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. 